Hi, welcome back everyone. Today I am going to discuss and briefly illustrate about the anatomy of postlateral corner of knee which is very tough uh, at the postgraduate level to understand the concept and the anatomy of the complex structures of the postlateral corner. And it was once regarded as the dark side of the knee owing to the complex and variable anatomy. And uh, although infrequent, the injuries of postlateral corner can lead to devastating consequences. Uh, if they are not detected early or if not diagnosed on MR imaging. Hence, timely diagnosis and surgical intervention are of very much important for improving the long term outcomes. So, let us see the postulator corner of knee. So, what are the structures which come under the postulator corner anatomy? The broad structures which are very important are the lateral collateral ligament, popliteus tendon, popliteofibular ligament, fibulofibular ligament, and arcuate ligament. And even sometimes few anatomical textbooks or a few radiological textbooks include the uh, biceps femoris tendon also as a part of postulateral coronal anatomy. So let us see these important structures uh, coming to the popliteus tendon, anterior and posterior bundles of popliteus tendon are present, popliteal meniscal fascicles are present which again is included within the popliteus tendon and coming to popliteal fibular ligament. Uh, it is most of the times difficult to visualize all the time because uh, we need to acquire it in an oblique plane with thin thin sequences, thin cut sequences so that uh, it's better uh, visualized because it is a very thin ligament uh, from arising from the popliteal tendon to the fibula and even si it is similar to the fibulofibular ligament as well. As these are very thin structures, uh, they are very difficult to visualize all the time. We need to concentrate and focus on these structures uh, to load these injuries. So this is the anatomical specimen which you can see the popliteus tendon, the popliteal fibular ligament and the posterior cruciate ligament. And this is an excellent illustration. You can see the all the postulateral corner structures that is the fibulofibular ligament, the biceps femoris tendon, the arcuate ligament and popliteal fibular ligament. All major structures of this postulateral corner of knee. And this is the lateral cross section or lateral view. If what and all you can see is the popliteus tendon. You can see the uh, ligament of arising from the popliteus to the fibula. So hence the name itself is indicating that the popliteal fibular ligament. Coming to uh, fibula, fibular collateral ligament or lateral collateral ligament, you can see arising from the femur to fibula. So this is the fibular collateral ligament also called as lateral collateral ligament. And this is a similar anatomical uh, illustration which is given here. You can clearly see the structures which are closely related along with the postlateral corner structures. You can see the popliteal fibular ligament, the fibula, and you can see the entire uh, the fibular collateral ligament, which is also called as lateral collateral ligament, which is a static structure in case of postlateral corner anatomy. And this is the just to represent the anatomy, ignore the pathology here. Uh, this is the popliteus tendon. You can see the coronal PD fat set image. You can see the popliteus tendon. The white arrow indicates the popliteus tendon, which is entering here, and this is the fibular collateral ligament getting attached to the fibula. Similarly, in the axial sections, you can see the popliteus tendon and the fibular collateral ligament. And this important another structure is the fibulofibular ligament. Again, you can see in the presence of the fibula, uh, fibella, sorry, in the presence of fibella, you can see the fibulofibular ligament which is clearly depicted. In the absence of fibula, it arises from the femur which is very again very thin. And you can see the sagittal plane again showing the fibula and the ligament which is connecting fibula and the fibula is the fibulofibular ligament. And this is another anatomical representation you can see always the thicker structures are easily visible that is the lateral collateral ligament and the popliteus tendon. And uh, important thing is the arcuate ligament this is the arcuate ligament and in sagittal section this is the arcuate ligament you can see and what is this hyper intense structures on PD facet is the inferior genicular vessels. Always remember these inferior genicular vessels are interposed between the arcuate ligament and the lateral collateral ligament and this is the popliteus tendon. Popliteus tendon goes deeper to this lateral collateral ligament as well as the arcuate ligament complex. So coming to the important points, these are the secondary stabilizers in conjunction with the cruciate ligaments. Uh, high grade postulateral corner injuries are mostly associated with cruciate ligament injuries. We need to look for all these postulateral corner structures as well. 
Arcuate sign is an important clue on X-ray which indicates that there is an underlying uh, postlateral corner injury. And the Sigon's fracture is another osseous structure fracture which indicates we need to look for at the postlateral corner anatomy. And early detection of postlateral corner in injury is very important as I already uh, said before uh, because of devastating consequences we need to identify and rectify it as early as possible. And these are the few osseous injuries which we need to remember uh, which indicate that there might be a postulateral corner injury. That is, this. most of them are aware of this arcuate sign. You can see the fibular fracture at the proximal end. And here you can see a large osseous body uh, which is avulsing. So whenever there is a large body, always think of a complex injury has happened in the postulateral corner anatomy. And this is the Seagon's fracture. Always again in the, Seagon, in the presence of Seagon's fracture, look for the postulateral corner anatomy. This is the Seagon fracture and there is also you can see uh, disruption of these uh, medial and lateral collateral ligaments. Uh, you can see here another one thing is the Gerdes tubercle fracture and you can see there is a tear here again. You can see the contusions again involvement of the medial structures as well. So whenever these osseous injuries are present always think of the postulateral coronary collateral corner anatomy has to be remembered. Thank you all.